Hi, welcome to the Open Design Project. This is a little example of the power of iLogic. I've created a little vanity. This this one doesn't do a huge amount of things yet, but what it does is pretty pretty incredible. If you look over to the left here in the browser, you can see that each one of these drawers is an actual complete assembly. It has a drawer guide, a drawer box, and the drawer panels. Each one of these panels, or a drawer front with, pan with a panel and rail and style assembly. The box, although I could make this separate parts just like the drawer front, it doesn't need to be. This one is designed to be a purchased um, component. So all that's needed is for this to report its overall size and type to the uh, component manufacturer and that's all that's needed. But if, if need be, this could be, could be made into a, a five piece box or however many pieces you would need um, for production for production in your own plant. Now I'm going to make this top invisible for a little bit so you can see the drawers in there and the drawer guides. What I'm going to do is just resize this a little bit and you can see see what goes on here. Make it oh, it's 48 now so I'll just go to 55. Oh, not 555. 55. And, as you can see, everything resized all right with it. I could make this so that when it gets to a certain width that the uh, drawer bank um, changes to the middle and we have a sink opening on either end for a double sink unit. There's a whole lot of configuration that can be added to this. Um, generally, I would add every different door and drawer configuration, and then these these doors and drawers would be used on kitchen cabinets and other cabinets as well. And now I'll show you the inset overlay. Um, when I do this, the the drawer boxes themselves change size as well. I don't know. Um, if we get at this angle here, you should be able to see that as well. And not only did the drawer boxes resize to 
whatever size they needed to be could be any size there's no uh, table that drives this it's not on one inch increments or anything it can be any size that you that you have it set up to be but you can see that each one of these doors and drawer fronts has uh, an edge profile on it now and that's cut into each part and if I open this you can see and you can check the status it's got the grain going in the Y direction you can see that here grain direction in the Y the length is 8 and 3 eighths um, the layer is lumber you, and I can add just about anything to these thickness is one inch up is Z plus as you can see down there and the width is two and five eighths all of this stuff would be reported to a cut sheet I think I got that open it wants to update it to this brand new configuration but I don't think I want to let it do that right now well might as well and that was it not too much all it all it did was well it did, actually did quite a bit it uh, updated every one of these box parts is now updated the lengths of these rails these didn't change but these changed this changed this changed this changed this is a whole separate assembly this can be put in its own drawing and sent out to uh, wherever it needs to go on the floor it's got its own individual parts in there and it's got a work plane which is kind of a flaw in, in Autodesk Inventor I could shut this off but it'll force itself back on again I can't get it off permanently but you gotta go through your whole model and mess around with it I don't feel like doing it right now Inventor does have a lot of nag screens and a lot of little annoyances, but it's a damn good program in the end. Got every little stick of molding in here will report its size. This is ready to be set up with an ERP system. Um, all that stuff you've seen in the uh, drawing there this can all be reported to an ERP system um, some of this stuff like the uh, the wood parts can be sent directly to like a tiger stop in a CSV file which it produces automatically and we'll turn this back on you can see that the top oops there we go the top has resized itself I I have it so I think it stays an inch and a half away from the the edges but it can be set up to anything it can be set up according to a certain range of sink sizes or whatever trips you trigger um, and again as this gets wider you wouldn't want it in this configuration the doors just get too wide I, I have this set up so that the the drawers get wider and wider until it hits a certain point you would want it at that point you would want two sinkholes here and um, either one or two banks of drawers and then have doors on the sides but so far it's a pretty nice model it's got let me see 149 parts to it um, every one reported and like I said all of these um, categories can be modified and new cat categories can be added depending on what the shops needs are and you can set up your actual drawing environment to 
any t any type of standard that you're using now. I have I've created a standard for the person that this uh, the sample was made for, but I don't have it on screen right now. And that's about it. Um, this is Mark Granda at the Open Design Project. Hope you enjoyed the little preview.